Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today is legitimately kind of a big day for a couple of reasons. Uh, let's start with the obvious one. I have been invited once again to participate in the invitational build uh, for the Great Guitar Build-Off, which is awesome. Really excited to do this again. That's why I keep doing it. Uh, this year I am supporting the Stollery Children's Hospital. Same thing I did two years ago. Next year, if they let me come back again, I'll probably do Second Chance Animal Rescue Society again. Anyway, no point in looking forward that far. They've asked me to do it again. I'm happy to do it. I don't know who the other invitational builders are yet, but my kit just came in. So in today's video, we're gonna unbox that. We're gonna take a look. I think that's this box. Like, I, I know what this is. I don't know what this is. It says two of two, so we're gonna find that out. The other thing that makes this kind of a big day, I guess, is I actually have a ton of unboxings to do. I've got, uh, yeah, a bunch of other stuff going on, and I've ordered or been sent a number of things for this build and other builds. And so what I'm gonna to try to do, and I'm making this promise, maybe not actually a promise because I, I don't know if I'll have time, but what I'm gonna to try to do is basically an unboxing a day for the next five days or something. I'm gonna try and do an unboxing week. Somebody cue the Alice in Wonderland music. Very merry unboxing to you. Anyway, I won't sing anymore, uh, ever. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take a look at this stuff and then in the coming videos, stick around, stay tuned if you will. We're gonna take a look at some upgrade parts, some parts that are going into this build, some parts that are going into other builds. Yeah, lots going on. So I was about to say, let's get to it. Let's get working on the unboxing. But first, if you've been living under a rock for the last three years, this is the great guitar build off. Every year we do a build. Uh, the guys at Texas Toast kind of came up with the idea for a guitar building competition when Texas Toast Guitars, by the way, when the pandemic hit and they, they spoke with Crimson Guitars about it. Crimson Guitars, Ben and them ran with the idea and now it's huge and it's run by Crimson Guitars and it's international and there are prizes and there are different divisions so you can do a scratch build, you can do a kit build, you can do uh, all sorts of stuff. And for those of us who are YouTubers, I guess, there's an invitational section and our builds are for charity. So like I said, I'm supporting the Stollery this year. Um, I'm not sure who else is involved, but usually, uh, unlike myself, the rest of the invitational builders are quite talented. So it'll be really good to see what happens with their builds. If you haven't already checked out the greatguitarbuildoff.com, the Great Guitar Buildoff website, do so because I've been trying to follow along as much as I can and there are just some incredible builds this year. And I don't mean from the invitational group, I mean from the actual guitar builders, the participants, the people who are paying to possibly win a prize at the end or compete uh, in the professional categories and in every other category. Tons of great content comes out every year from this. It does a lot of good. It supports a lot of good causes, including the Great Guitar Build Off itself, which is a charity now that uh, assists people who are trying to get into this hobby, into this possibly career if people are interested in it that way uh, and who can't afford the things that they need to be able to do that so check that out and without further ado let's figure out first of all what's in this second box and then let's take a, take a good look at this kit let's get to it all right so hopefully i am now done trying to speak so quickly that i sound like i'm doing an m m impression uh, sorry for that but i wanted to get that explanation out i was excited and now i get to do the part that I'm looking forward to, and probably all of you are as well, let's see how this stuff looks. I think this is hardware. I assume it's hardware. Um, I know that at the end of the day, Crimson Guitars, or, or actually specifically the Great Guitar Build-Off, which is now its own organization, is going to cover me getting a case to ship this guitar to whoever purchases it, and obviously the proceeds are gonna go to charity, both the Stollery, my charity of choice for this, and also, the Great Guitar Build-Off charity itself, um, which I hope also helps them run this every year, but okay, well, it's well packaged, whatever this is. I think this is gonna be hardware, like I said. Uh, I have some hardware that's gonna go into this already, but we'll see what they've sent me. Pro Steel the Dario. So they're, they're even supplying strings now. This has escalated. Maybe I made a mistake by already getting some of the hardware that I need. We're getting people involved to supply some of the hardware that I need. Let's see what else they've got. I wonder if there's a rule against me selecting other stuff. Okay, we've got wiring. We've got tuning hardware. Oh boy. We've got pickup mounting hardware. We've got what looks to be bridge mounting hardware. We've got string ferrules. There's a 
Okay, I need to figure out where I'm going to put all of this right now. Straight into the build specific hardware bin, which has only a select few hardware items in it at the moment. So, all right. Pickup mounting, bridge mounting, tuner mounting, <laughs> wiring. Incredible that they supply all of this now. Uh, string ferrules. Oh, those are knurled very heavily. Okay, perfect. Those will be tough to get out once they go in. Also, uh, tuner mounting. Also, tuner mounting. It's nice that I've done so many of these uh, guitar builds, guitar kit builds, etc., that I can recognize what kind of screw and washer goes where now. I'm not even going to bother guessing. What I can say about all this stuff, without having had the opportunity to assess its quality, is it's very well packaged. I don't know if it's all crimson. Beautiful chrome locking tuners. Let's take a look here. Okay, unclear to me at first glance what brand they are uh, or if they're something specific. They look nice. They look fairly generic, which is fine. I know I've got all the hardware for them. And I assume they're all the same direction if this kit is the way that I think it is. Okay, a couple things left here and then I'm going to have to deal with some recycle. This will be the bridge. Very nice. Perfect. I really like these bridges from Crimson. So far everything has fit comfortably into my hardware organizer, but we'll see if that changes. This is going to be electronics, I think. Let's see here. These will be knobs. Yep, a couple knobs. So this kit is a two knob, one switch setup, unless something has changed. I haven't looked at the actual kit that they sent me yet, obviously, but I'm familiar with them. This will be the output jack. So the actual electronics, I think I'm going to source something nicer. Um, not that this stuff isn't nice. I'm going to source something a little bit more interesting um, because I want to and because I want to show you guys some cool companies that do good work. What? These are gigantic pots. Are they push-pull? No, they're just very large. So these are very robust. I almost feel like they are push-pull, but they don't appear to be. Very robust pots. Those are good quality, obviously. Or at least they appear to be. 500s, so nice. Again, I don't think I'll end up using those. I don't think it's a rule that I have to. I'll double check, but this will be the switch. Nice little three-way switch, LP style. Feels relatively firm, so a nice quality switch, not too loose. And what would this be, a pickup ring? Or two? Two pickup rings. So this is a flat mount, so you don't need any curved pickup rings. They're just the classic flat ones. I probably won't use those either because I like doing my metal work, but we'll see. Don't get me wrong, I'll use them for something. Okay. I get the feeling this is going to be pickups. Again, I have already, in anticipation of receiving this kit, have already gone and sourced a set of pickups that I'd like to use for this build, but we'll see. I may have to use these for a different build. Okay, these are Wilkinson's. Wilkinson makes good pickups. Very nice. Thank you, Crimson, for supplying these. Um, I think I'm going to go with a different set unless I find out that I'm not allowed to. But I'll be using these in a build soon because I do like them. All right. Let's take a look at the kit. All right. On to the kit. You guys have seen it before, but let's check it out again. By the way, uh, one of the things that we'll be unboxing in the coming days, or maybe a couple of things, I can't really remember, will be stuff that's going into this kit. So we've just looked at the hardware, but some of the hardware that I'm actually putting in, including the pickups, 
will be part of the upcoming unboxing days, assuming I can complete my unboxing week as planned. So, Crimson has clearly changed the way that they package things a little bit, and I really, really like it. I like the way they're doing this now. This stuff is seems very effective. And it's clearly recyclable, which is nice. All right, so this will be the neck, and that'll be the body, which, as always, is the raw uncut kit, which offers as much freedom as a guy can ask for, pretty much, unless he's building his own guitar from scratch. And by he, I mean him or her, because Tamar from 3x3 kicks my butt every year in this thing. So let's start with the neck, because it was sitting on top. These guys always do a great job of this for me. Everybody's using the same one this year from the, um, the Invitational. So it'll be really interesting to see how that goes with everybody starting from the same kit, the same point. So as always, we've got really nicely carved neck, paddle headstock that we can work with, beautiful maple, really nice fretboard. Is that Makassar Ebony? Anyway, it's very nice. Um, fret ends are angled off comfortably, but could use a little rounding. I'm not sure if I need any leveling work on this. I'll have to check. Truss rod looks nice and accessible. So this year, like I said, we're all using the same kit. So in past years, I've had the AG, the Angove Guitars emblem um, burned in here. This year, we're all starting from the same point, so we don't have that going this time, but we do have really nice dot inlays, nice side inlays, whole thing looks good. Got a little bit of work to do on the edges of the frets, I think, a little bit of filling, but all in all, pretty happy with that. So that's gonna be a good spot to work from. Let's take a look at the kit, the body. I don't know which side's up on this. That answers it. Here we have our classic ash body. Looking beautiful as always. What's that? There we go. Lots of room to work there, lots of wood to work with. Neck pocket fit, as always, is incredibly snug. So everything looks good here. Everything looks good. I, uh, let me put it this way. I noticed how people reacted to some of my prior guitar shapes. They were, you know, you like them or you don't like them. This year I'm gonna go with something a little bit more classic, but I'm obviously gonna have my own twist on it. And I think it's going to appeal to a larger audience. So. Hopefully I'm right about that. I think it's a bidding system this year. Sorry, not a bidding. I think it's a raffle system this year. So as with before, you know, we're supporting charity. I hope you guys will take a look at all the invitational builds, show your support. And if you're at all interested in them, I hope you guys will bid on them um, because they're all going to charity. And who knows, for a simple purchase of a raffle ticket, you may win a custom guitar. All right, guys, well, there you go. I've got everything I need now to get started on this. Body, neck, hardware, well, pretty much everything I need. So I might as well. I don't think the final videos for this are due to come out for quite a while, actually. So we've got some lead time this time. You'll see some of my progress as we go, but it'll be a while before we really jump into this one fully um, because we've got some time and it needs to be timed correctly with everybody else. So it might be a little bit before you see this one again, but in the interim, make sure you check out, like I said, the other categories of builds because there's some unreal stuff going on, um, very creative, high quality work, and yeah, it's worth a watch. I love great guitar build off time. Tons of great content coming out that works for anybody who's interested in guitar building. So check that stuff out. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And remember to tune in for the rest of the week um, because hopefully I'll have a bunch more unboxings for you and it'll be awesome. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one. See you next time.